Right, Lee Griffiths made his return to the Celtic first team at the weekend. He came on as a, a kind of late sub for Odds and Edward in the victory over Livingston. It was his first appearance uh, for Celtic in a good few months. I think the middle of August was his, his last turn out. Mm -hmm. How important is it to have him back, given the fixtures we've got coming up and we've got, I think, 10 or 11 before the end of the year? Oh, massively, massively. He's a really, really good player to have. And if you go back to maybe podcast one and two that, that we did on the, the Boys Free Blue Noses, I was, I was championing Griffith's return. I really, really like him. I thought he showed some good stuff when he mm -hmm. came on. Um, wasn't very sharp on the ball, but you'd expect that. Um, missed one good chance with Frimpong's cross and another one deflected over, but... His movement, he just literally hadn't been away in that regard. Um, as the season goes on, we're going to need him. I think a lot of people forget just how good he is. Um, yeah. he, he, technically, he's, he's superb. Absolutely superb. And he knows where the goal is. And, you know, if anything happens to Edward, to have Griffiths to fall back on, it's, it's massive, absolutely massive for yeah. the title race. I mean, I think we've been quite fortunate in terms of Edward's not had any injuries aye, this aye, season and he's I think he's played his, his last 11 or 12 last Celtic matches he started all of them 11 or 12 games he started every single one of them um, and we have been quite fortunate that Edward even in international duty hasn't picked up any knocks or niggles even to keep him out for one game because we were at the mm. stage where you know Bio was out injured Griffiths was nowhere to be seen and if Edward had been injured you'd have been wondering who who'd you put up top do you put you know one of the youngsters yeah. someone for the development team do you put um, Ryan Christie or Forrest or someone like that up top, it wouldn't have been ideal. So thankfully we've we've hopefully got over that that period and now Lee Griffiths can come back into the fray because for me he's he's an excellent number two. Um there's been a lot of talk about looking at January, do we need to sign another forward? I don't think I, so. Well, ideally, I would say yes, but I think if you've got Lee Griffiths mm -hmm. and Odds and Edward, bearing in mind that Lennon's never going to play two up top or certainly start two up top. I think Griffiths is a great number two to have to, to someone like Edward. I, well, here's where I come from with regards to the new striker thing in January, right? We've got Griffiths back. We have to assume he's back now. He's back proper. Mm -hmm. We can't just assume he's going to get injured again, right? Mm -hmm. Bayo is meant to be back in a couple of weeks, going by Neil's original time frame. He mm -hmm. said six weeks if he had surgery. That's nearly four. So we shouldn't be looking too long for Bayo. They should all be back and having a train for a while before our first game after the, the winter break. Mm -hmm which would be the first game any new striker could play in. Mm -hmm. So if Neil then brings another striker, and that's four for one position, why on earth do we need four for the one position? What, what would you say about the argument that we're looking for a successor to Edward? Bear in mind that he's probably going to go in the summer, and y you want to s probably sign one before he goes and maybe give him six months to bed in. Would you be against that? I mean, it's a... Because that, that man's logic, not bio, is it? I can see the logic behind it. No, it probably isn't bio. I think bio, probably. I think bio was probably viewed as that initially. But, um, but no, listen, it, it makes sense. But then are you are you bringing in a new striker and then saying to Griff, it's great to have you back, Griff, you're now number three because we're bringing in someone else. Yeah, it's a difficult one. To play. I, I, I don't know, mate. If you're telling me <laughs> we can't bring in a new striker in the summer that can start off well, then that would be a concern. I mean, yeah, I mean that, yeah, a good strikers do start off well. My, my point was just that when Edward came in, he had that, you know, that year buffer when we had Dembele and Griffiths already on our books. And Edward wasn't the player he is now during that year, miles from it. But he gradually, I think, got used to the club. And I know he was only on loan. And then we bought him. And then he's just come on leaps and bounds. So if you're probably looking for, you know, a sim similar ilk signing to, to someone like Edward, say it as another French youth international, then he is probably in a new country going to take a little bit of time to get used to it. So that would be my only argument. Um, but I agree, having four strikers when you only play one is, isn't ideal. I think Dembele didn't need time to come in and make a big impact. Uh, I, don't think it's, I don't think it's something that should warrant needing to sign one. You know what I mean? It's, it's, I can see the logic behind it, but for me, I just don't think we need another striker. I think we're okay. I think we're, yeah. we're well stopped. And I talk about Bayo. I don't, I don't dislike Bayo. I think he's got his attributes. Get, I, think he get, I think he gets some negative press. Yeah. I really do. He's not a, he's um, not a complete dud. He's not a... Um, a Bangura or a, a Baldi no, or something like no. that. He's much better than that. And he scored too many goals for a decent side in a decent league, decent enough league to, to prove that. So I think he just needs a wee bit of time. And hopefully with Griffiths back, he can get that time now. Right. No, 100%. I, I think he's um, he's got his attributes, like I'm saying. He's a good, good powerful target man by you. I think his touch can be a wee bit dodgy at times, but that's something he can work on. You know, Edward's touch wasn't great when he first joined. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, that Bio, Bio's, and people forget, he looks about 28, but <laughs> Bio's really young. Bio's, yeah. a, Bio's a boy, I think. Is he not something like 
1920. I want to say 21 or 22. 21 then, whatever it is. That's young. That's young for a footballer. And he gets a really hard time, I think. So he's still there, and I'm sure he'll be itching to make an impact as well. Can he just dismiss Bayo? Um, So I would say the options we've got, I don't think a striker's necessary. I don't think many positions in January need strengthening, to be quite honest. Interesting. Well, it's something I'm sure we'll touch on yeah. as the months go on. Certainly when we get to you know the end of December, early January, we'll have mm-hmm. a lot of transfer chat. Um, we'll be back later on in the week. We're going to look ahead to the kind of big uh, Europa League match against Rennes on Thursday. Team selection, discuss that kind right. of thing. So stay tuned on the channel for that.